Before we get started using Craft to build our first website, I want to talk about the pieces of Craft. These are the largest components that we'll use to implement our website's content and data. So the first part of the pieces of Craft is sections. And this is how we organize our content or our data in Craft. And inside of sections, we have different types. We have a channel, a structure, and a single. So a channel in Craft is used for a collection of related entries, like for new articles, for blog posts, for recipes, kind of serial content that is all similar and contained together. And this is something that you also want to keep adding to over time, you know, like articles, blog posts, videos, things like that. The next one is called a structure. This section type is similar to a channel section in that it's a collection of entries. However, the structure section groups them in with a relationship and a hierarchy. So there's a hierarchy or a nesting, which is also reflected in the URLs. So as an example, if I have slash about for an entry and then about offices and then about offices Austin, Using a structure section, I could create this hierarchy in the URL, and that'll also be represented when I'm managing that content inside of the craft control panel. And we'll build a structure section as part of this course, so you'll be familiar with that as well. The third type is a single. A single is a one-off entry that is meant for single items like home pages, single pages that kind of stand on their own and they only have one instance. Now, the interesting thing about singles is that they have unique content requirements that aren't shared with any other entries on the site. And because of that, when you define a single, you also define a specific template that that single is tied to. Whereas when you define a section, whether that's structure or channel, you define a single template that is going to be used for all of the entries when they're viewed. With a single, you can specifically say use this template because this is something special, like a home page. So those are the pieces of craft and the different parts of craft that you need to know for content. We have sections for how we organize content or data in craft. Then we also have fields and field types. Now this is how we define content types that we store as entries. This is where you take your content requirements and begin to model them in craft. Then we have entries. This is how the content is stored in a section. Each individual entry is a piece of content and that then is made up of one or more fields. And then we have templates. I've already talked about templates. This is how we display content to the end user. And we're typically doing that in the web browser via Twig. So these are the pieces of craft, sections, fields and field types, entries, and templates. There are a lot of other parts of craft, but this is the main thing that you need to know and to master to be good at building sites using craft CMS.